posing happily for photographs, these two young women look to be the picture of health. But tragically, Latifah King, 27, and Kelly Smith, 31, both died of cancer after delays in treatment due to COVID lockdowns. Young mother Miss Smith had her chemotherapy for bowel cancer paused for three months in the first lockdown. Meanwhile, Miss King, who was at first told she had sciatica, was not able to see a doctor in person or offered any tests, and died a week after her diagnosis. Their heart-trending stories were revealed as scores of MPs today warn the Prime Minister that Britain is facing a cancer disaster that could cost tens of thousands of lives. A group of 75 cross-party politicians say that as many as 100,000 people could miss out on cancer treatment due to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, with many dying unnecessarily. They have written to Boris Johnson demanding the cancer backlog is tackled with the same political will as the vaccination rollout. The government have rightly moved heaven and earth to save lives from COVID, it's time the same was done for cancer patients, the MPs say. By the time Latifah King was finally diagnosed with cancer, she only had days to live. The 27-year-old died last Wednesday after spending months in agony. Miss King was not able to see a doctor in person or offered any tests to check for cancer. Last night her twin sister said Latifah was brushed aside because the only killer they see right now is COVID. Miss King, from Leicester, developed debilitating pain in her legs in October, became bedbound, and lost four stone. However, the pandemic meant she could only get a GP appointment via Zoom and was misdiagnosed with sciatica. She took herself to Anamp in December when the pain became unbearable and she had visible lumps from the tumors, but was dismissed and prescribed codeine. Miss King was finally admitted to hospital in January when biopsies revealed she had cancer. It took until the start of February for her to be diagnosed with epithelioid sarcoma, an aggressive form of soft tissue cancer. She died at home one week later. Her twin Shanika told the mail, if it wasn't a pandemic I believe more would have been done. COVID means other illnesses are getting pushed aside. Millions of people have been hit by disruption to cancer screening, diagnosis and treatment since Britain went into lockdown last March.